open case for example like say if you want to clear a competitive exam i wrote competitive exams but if you if you want to clear a competitive exam you will have to sit in front of the book and study for 4 to 5 hours a day i mean whatever you are comfortable with but you have to study to get yourself to sit at a place and study for 2 4 to 5 hours is hard work but to know what not to study rather than to know what to study in those 4 hours is smart work so hard work club with your smart work i was a failure in school thinking back of my school days i don't see a marks card of mine from my school days from class 7 to class 10 without a red mark on it every year my parents were called to the school and they were humiliated saying your son is a failure your son is a failure all right my parents tried to encourage me my parents tried to put sense into me i really wanted to study but studies never got into my head physics chemistry math bi i mean all these subjects were alien to me it never went into my head my class 9 exams I failed in four subjects in my final examination just by a mark or two the principal called my parents to the pa parents teachers meeting and the principal told my parents I request you to kindly change your son from the ICSC board to the state board because if this boy does not clear his, his board exams in class 10 he is going to be a disgrace to the school and this institution my father told my principal madam I will assure you that this boy is never going to be a disgrace either to your school or your institution albeit for this nation that hit me really hard there was a father who put faith in me there was a father who put confidence in me and said this boy is going to do it irrespective of what people say and it is then it is from then i started to believe that i could do something good in life and now fast forward again i was doing a lot of jobs as i told you in an organized sector there came a time when i thought okay it is time for me now to crack my upsc exams because i had a dream what was my dream to put on the uniform to serve this nation so i had to crack my upsc exams but as i told you studies in itself was alien i i could not sit in a place and study and even though i used to study nothing used to enter my head but i had to crack the upsc exams which is considered to be india's toughest examination so i was talking about hard work club with smart work i was anyway earning i thought why don't i earn and make use of the time simultaneously so i went to a coaching institute I told that gentleman in the coaching institute the owner of that coaching institute sir I want to teach he asked me how many times have you written the upsc examination i said i am yet to write but i want to teach he asked me what do you want to teach polity i said no i don't know the indian constitution geography no history i don't remember economy i don't know general knowledge sorry sir then he asked me he he rather told me these are the subjects that is important to crack the upsc examination and you say you don't know any of these subjects what is it that you want to teach but then i was convinced i had that conviction in me and i convinced him i sold an idea to him i told him sir if you analyze the previous year question papers of upsc or any state public service commission for that matter you see the questions that are asked they're not asked randomly questions of history polity geography economy they all have been in the news in the past one year all the questions have been in the news in the past one year directly or indirectly and yes and all these things have come in the newspapers so i want to tell students and aspirants the importance of reading newspapers i want to teach them how to read the newspapers i want to teach them how to pick up stuff from the newspapers that is important for their examination he thought for a minute he was convinced and he said and he put me on his payroll and said okay you can start now for every 2 hours i had to teach mind you i was teaching upsc aspirants i was teaching aspirants who were about to write competitive exams and i i told you my background and i had not even appeared for an examination but i was convinced that i will do it one day so i started i went back home i used to go back home read for 7 hours 8 hours come back and teach for 2 hours now what did i gain out of this for 2 years for 2 full years i got to be amidst students who were preparing for competitive exams i picked up a lot of cues i picked up a lot of cues from people who passed from people who failed from people who were serious from people who were not serious but for two long years i stuck on to that coaching institute and i used to teach students how to read the newspapers and the best part about it i used to get paid for teaching someone how to read the newspapers from selling newspapers door to door when i was in class 9 and 10 to teaching aspirants how to read the newspapers i think my journey has been remarkable that way now i went on to give my upsc examinations i gave my upsc examinations failed 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 got dejected but then the story does not end there 
because I had that fire in me not to give up and then I went on to crack, I went on to crack eight competitive exams back to back. I cleared two exams of banks, two bank examinations, I cleared one examination of RBI at the preliminary stage. And then I cleared my IB exam, I cleared my SSE exam, I cleared my Karnataka Public Service Commission examination, I cleared my FDA examination and then I cleared my UPSC Central Armed Police Force preliminary examination. <laughs> Thank you. Life is not a bed of roses. Life has not been easy for me and I'm sure it's been even more horrible for a lot of other people. But my question is, what differentiates that person? What differentiates people who accepted destiny and what from the people who fought against destiny? The people who accept destiny and say this is how life goes, but the people who fight against destiny. And I think the only difference between people who accept destiny and people who fight against destiny is that one word attitude, the attitude to never give up, the attitude to believe in your dreams and the attitude to chase what you want and the attitude to not settle down until you get what you want. I think that one word makes a lot of difference. Because I remember, I used to go to school, catch hold of a friend and talk to him about the number of households I visited and sold newspapers in the morning before going to school. Yes, before going to school at 9 in the morning, I used to wake up at 5, get ready, tell my parents that I'm going early for a game. Necessity had hit me hard. I did not have an option. I used to go door to door, ask people which newspaper they were buying and I used to convince them to subscribe for the newspaper that I was working for. For every order that I converted, for every order that I got for the newspaper that I was working for, I used to get paid 75 rupees a month. My journey started there with 75 rupees a month and from then till now, I feel life has seldom been unfair to me. But what remains etched in my memory is an incident from my school days. I remember there were a class of around we were a class of around 100 plus students. A class of 100 plus students had adorned the auditorium to listen to a career counselor who was to guide us about our future course of action in life. When asked what each one of them wanted to be in life, there came answers sensible enough to the standards set by the society back then. But there came a voice from behind. A boy in class 9 in 2003 raised his hand and he watched his opinion. He had a dream, he had a goal, he had a vision. But the entire class, the entire auditorium burst out in laughter. His own colleagues, his friends and his teachers laughed at him and said, not this guy. This incident changed my life. They laughed at the boy and said, not this guy. Because this boy was nothing short of being a failure. He was nothing short of being notorious. But he raised his hand and he watched his opinion. In 2003, this boy told a class of around 100 plus students that he wanted to put on his uniform one day and serve this nation. And as a testimony to that boy's words on that momentous day, I stand here today as an assistant commander serving my nation with pride. And what more?